Hello, so to install Skyrim together on Linux or Steam Deck, the first thing you need to do is, if you're on Steam Deck, boot into the KDE desktop environment. It'll look somewhat like this. Uh, then make sure you can head over to the website uh, on Nexus Mods and download Skyrim Together Reborn. Just hit on manual download and also download any dependencies. So that would also be the SKS E library where you just go to files. And then obviously for your version, that would then be 1.6 and above as they specify here. You would also need the Skyrim script extender. And here you want the Steam version. I'm assuming you have the game on Steam uh, and download that as well. After you've done all that, uh, you end up with these three folders if you also extract them. Uh, so first, what you need to do is you go install Skyrim and launch it at least once. After you've done that, go to manage and browse local files, which then brings you here, uh, which is the Skyrim directory with all the Windows versions of, of the files, as you can see here. Go to data, go back to your downloaded files, head into the Skyrim Reborn folder, select everything, copy it, go to the data folder and paste. Here it will ask if I want to replace them. I, I'm not. You will then click yes, replace if you already have something there, just to make sure that you overwrite anything you might've tried previously. Mine works, so I'm not gonna replace anything in case that messes with things. Then again, go back to the downloads folder, go to SKSE, highlight everything. Go out here again to the, again, still in the data folder, paste. And then you want to replace if you have anything to replace. Go back here, go to the all-in-one library, whatever, highlight the folder, and you can see there's an SKC folder, just uh, it's still just pasted in the data folder though. Let me apply to all. And then you should actually be just set up and go. Uh, go. So you can head into the Skyrim Re Together Reborn folder, copy the entire path, so that would be right here, and head over to Steam. Here in Steam, we're gonna add game and add a non-Steam game, hit browse, and navigate to the directory that you have, which in my case would be this one. And then locate the Skyrim together.exe uh, file, not the Skyrim together server file, this is the wrong one. So in here and hit open, and then add selected program. Now, if you search Skyrim, it should show up here as Skyrim together. You're almost done. Right click it, go to properties. Now we get this amazing window here where you can go to compatibility for a specific compatibility, and we want to pick the latest Proton, probably works, Proton Experimental probably works, but I know for a fact that G Glorious Eggrolls version of Proton 9.27 works perfectly fine for Skyrim Together. You might need to use this as well. It's just nice to, nice to know that this one works. Uh, go over to Shortcut, and you need to add something to the launch arguments, which I will leave into the description below. And that would be this. Uh, this just specifies your Steam Compat data path, which you can find manually by trying to navigate to this, but Steam should understand the user variable being used here, and then navigate to Skyrim's Compat data right here. Uh, after you've done this, you can X out and hit play, and hopefully that would launch Skyrim. And it does. Another thing, if your game does not launch in full screen mode or the resolution is screwed up, for example, when you're in a loading screen, the entire screen isn't black, only part of the screen is black, uh, then you have the wrong resolution. You need to figure out how to solve the resolution because otherwise hitting F2 in the game, uh, or I think it's left control, so in my case, if I hit F2, uh, this menu pops up, but in some cases it would look weird and screwed up and you wouldn't, won't be able to do anything. That's just a resolution issue. Just go in and fix the resolution through any of the ways that are possible and it should work perfectly for you.